it's Thursday afternoon so that'd be May the 12th and I'm coming to check on the progress see what has been done first thing I noticed immediately is that there are some fans that are running so they obviously have been put in place to actually speed up the process and let's just go through the house to see what's the story so in the front hall same things that were done yesterday are still complete at this point in time. The things that were not done are still the same way. So here, oh, well, they've been doing some sanding. Uh, here's a piece of sanding paper on a, uh, a pad. There's a blower. Here's a dehumidifier. storage room, screw holes are not done, and then you can get a fire, storage area underneath the stairs, another you can get a fire, laundry area, laundry room, Here you can see evidence of negative pressure. So there's more air coming into the house than there is going out. And as a consequence, you'll see the uh, plastic being blown to the outside. And it's being sucked right away. Negative pressure. in my office. Same extent that was done the other day. Well, sanding has to occur. Some of this is pretty rough. The piece there, the section's missing. Piece of tape, it's not laying flat. This is not laying flat. These are the issues of when you've uh, done this work, you know what to look for in terms of shortcomings of other people. Of course, they have another layer that has to go over on top of this yet. Some bubbles. Ah, stilts. First evidence. So most of the connections, the seams, have been taken care of here in this bedroom, including the ceiling. Same thing in the hallway. And in the bathroom. Ooh, this is sloppy. Another one. Drips. More drips. You're gonna have to come along with the scraper, scrape that off. Scrape before. Lots of stuff just laying on the floor. Not 100% complete, but getting there in the master bedroom as well. And going into the main room.
they did some electric electrical work, I think. Hooking up a circuit or two. Those two. There's some dryers going on the floor. Just fans actually. The back wall is looking pretty good. Looks like that they've got final uh, final layers there, and half of the ceiling got final layers. That's locking up. That's looking pretty good. But not finished here yet. Another layer to go on the tape. Another way around. Okay, uh, we're off to Oshawa tomorrow, um, but uh, I think I'll stop by uh, in the evening and give you a fur further update in terms of progress for, uh, for the week and then probably post this video at the end of the day. All right, thanks and we'll talk to you soon. It's Friday afternoon and <coughs> we're seeing what the progress is like at the end of the week. Um, they've done the ceiling here. They haven't done the holes though. Pardon? They haven't done the holes No. Though. But some of this, Trish, so when they get here, this is the final job. Is that final? Well, they may be putting one more coat on it, but it's pretty close. No, you can feel the edge. So. So the taping is done totally here, maybe here. Gotta watch one step. Yep. <clears throat> Nothing's happening in here yet. All the taping is done in here as well, in the office. In the laundry room, it's a dehumidifier. And he's got a hose, Trish, going into the drain. Taking this in here as well. So except for corners, all of the taping is done on the, this floor. And, and you've got the, and the swaps and the, all the tools. Yeah, that's really simple. I mean they'll do that once. Scalp thing's still up. But the taping is then up to here. It's all finished. Oh, it's not finished there. Maybe they put a piece of metal in there? I don't know. I've never and seen it done on an inside corner. None of the yeah. tops. It must do something different there. Because they're 90 degrees, right? That's probably what it is. Right. Oh, maybe they put a piece of metal in? I don't know. No? 
don't think so. So, up, even up here, see that they're not finished with those angles. Oh yeah, that's much better. So you can still see how the yellow tape is. The yellow yeah. this is not. So yeah. they've got a good coat all the way up to the scaffolding. So you can see that the uh, places where they put the drywall compound is much, much leveler, much more level across both both sides. So you don't see the tape anymore. So they put. Two more layers on there, Trish. Hmm? Two more layers. Yeah. And and the top up in the the top corner, that's done. Yeah, that's all done. Not above the pantry, but and no. it's the same thing that we saw in the other places where this is not finished either. So two more two more layers. In here for the, the lower section and then the walls. But they have done the, uh, the screws in the lower side. Right there and here. Someone here? Don't think so. Humidifier may may stop on its own. It was the one that you were working with, right? Okay. Looks like they've had a good week. Yeah, I don't know what the plan there is all about. Yeah, five hours a day. Maybe it's all around trying to time the drying process. Seems to me that if you got started though, you get a lot more done so that it still take the same drying time. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, a little bit. Um, I will wrap this up and I will produce it and get it posted tonight. <laughs> so that takes you to the end of the week. I guess this is Friday the 13th and hopefully next week we have another good week where we actually finish off the drywall and maybe get some windows. Anyways, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>